Hello and welcome to this tutorial on adding content in Blackboard. There are a number of different places you can add content in your Blackboard class, but we're going to refer in this tutorial on doing it in the discussion board. So if you'll click on the discussion board, you can create a new forum if you do not have a discussion board forum in existence already. I have some already in existence. I'll click on that forum and I'll create a thread. Now, before we go into adding content, let's talk about some things to consider when you're adding content. This is not just a place to dump information. It should be relevant. There, there, it needs, there needs to be a purpose for what you're putting in here. It's something that you want students to think about, to consider, to respond to, to engage with one another, maybe to dispute if they have some additional experiences different from what you're putting in here. You need to also consider a follow-up. Don't just dump it and leave it. This is not a dump and go location. When you place something in here, you're going to want to finish whatever it is with some type of statement or question that tells students what you would like them to do when they're engaging with this content. So I'm going to talk about three specific types of pieces of content you can add. The first and general uh, type would be some text. So maybe I have some information that I would like to, to put in here, some additional stuff uh, based maybe on the chapters that we've read or some discussion that we have had um, all along the way so far. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I've went and grabbed my content. You can actually just type right in the box, but in order to save some time, I have something in here already. And then I would give it a subject. Can you predict interest rate changes? Okay, so I have this here, and then all I have to do is post by hitting submit, and then there we have it. Another thing that we could have also done is maybe rather than typing in the box or having something prepared, I can actually attach a file. I could uh, maybe give it a subject here, um, something interesting to consider. Please read this article and comment on the findings or whatever you wanted to say. Now I can actually browse my computer and find whatever this thing is that I want. Come down to the bottom, hit submit, and that's now in there. So this is still in this situation, in both cases, we're talking about adding content that is text. But you also have the ability to add some other things. Maybe you want them to go and search a website. So in this uh, subject here of the money and banking course, here is the Fed's website. Oops. Or whatever you want to, whatever you want to do, and then you just need to uh, add the site. So I already have that ready. So I'm just going to copy and paste, and then hit submit. Student now can go right into this website, click here, and it'll launch the website for them. So that's another way to add some content. So this is a link, and then I'll show you another one and that is to add, uh, add video. There's a couple of different ways you can do video. There's also tutorials out there in other blended learning training modules about adding video. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can actually record, if you have a webcam, you can actually record right here in that spot. You can record yourself making a video. Okay, I'm not configured to do this, 
at the moment, but just wanted to show you. We do have tutorials out there that will allow you to, to make this happen. The other thing that you can do is you can go to a website, just like we did the link. Maybe you go to YouTube and you find something you'd like them to watch, and you can put it in accordingly. So here I've gone to YouTube, and uh, I have uh, a video that I've located, that I've reviewed, that I think would be uh, some good information to put in front of our students uh, on how interest rates work. So I have this particular video. I have paused it, so it's not, it's not running. I'm going to go down here and hit Share, and then I can actually grab this particular link here and put that right into the class like I just showed you with uh, installing a link. But another way to do it is to hit the embed code, grab this, this is highlighted, you can go up and hit a copy or do control C. Then I'm going to reduce this out of here and I'm going to go to this spot. I'm going to click on source. I'm going to do a control V or command V if you're on a Mac to paste that embed code for the video right into that box. Go back to click general and I'm now going to come over here. I'm going to, whoops, get this out of the way. I'm going to move this over here so you can see I'm actually going to come down here and hit the insert button and notice this yellow box has popped up here. And I'm just going to hit submit. And now this interest rate video is actually right there in line in our discussion board. So we've showed you how to do text, websites, put a video in. So those are three unique ways to add content. And this is all adding content to the discussion board. You can add it in other places. You can put some things in your seminars or weeks folders. But since we are talking about the discussion board, those were three ways to show you how to add content to your discussion board. Thanks.